Good morning. Today is September 10th. We're going to start with the daily reflection on the Old Testament. And it shall come to pass in the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and all nations shall flow unto it. Isaiah 2.2 2. Who could have imagined that a small group of stalwart pioneers would tame a desert and create a city to which all nations would come? The centerpiece of that latter-day Zion is the temple. Isaiah prophesied, And many people shall go, shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. The temple is a spiritual oasis, a sacred place of prayer and learning, a holy place to help us comprehend eternity. The temple gives us perspective that the world does not give. It is a link between earth, life, and eternity. Only through the eternal ordinances provided in the temple can Heavenly Father's children return to his presence. Oh, sorry, that one seemed really long. Okay, so today is Isaiah chapter 10, and um, it's, I think it's red, not purple. Let's see, destruction of Assyria is a type of destruction of the wicked at the second coming. Okay, so it is purple, and it's talking about the second coming. Uh, few people shall be left after the Lord comes again. Remnant of Jacob shall return in that day. So that's what happened there. We got home late, so I listened to it. Um, we've got two things in here from the Ludlow. And uh, I really need to try harder in my studies. Anyways, the first portion of this chapter, chapter prophesies of the coming destruction of Assyria. And the last part compares this destruction to what will happen to the wicked in the last days. The statement, I, they're talking about chapter 10 verse 23 the statement shall make a consumption even determined could have been translated from the hebrew shall make a full end as ordained i need to get an isaiah book something of that nature okay so today or for the next bit, we've got for travelers, for doctors, nurses, and missionaries, for those who do not know the mercy of God. Um, I'm going to leave you now with a prayer from a diary of prayer. September 10th, this is Psalm 145. I will magnify thee, O God, my King, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Every day will I give thanks unto thee and praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and marvelous worthy to be praised. There is no end of his greatness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and the great goodness, and of great goodness. The Lord is loving unto every man, and his mercy is over all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, yea, all such as call upon him faithfully. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will help them. Let all flesh give thanks unto his holy name forever and ever. I will see you tomorrow, which is chapters 11 and 12.